Hey everybody, Tim Rawson here at Gear Up. I know it looks like I didn't pay the light bills, but it's for a reason. Uh, for those of you that know me, know that I'm a flashlight aholic. I love flashlights. Don't like being in the dark. I mean, we can all do this little candle deal, but how many candles can we really keep around with us? You know, but this is what pet peeve. Flashlights, the one Achilles heel every flashlight has is the batteries. And we all know that any disaster that happens, first thing that goes is water, food, then the batteries. They're all gone. Any emergency that you have. And those are all limited as far as their life expectancies. And I guarantee you, if you went and checked in your drawers right now, every flashlight would be either broken with all that white crust around it or it's drained and low unless you take your batteries out put them in the freezer it's just a pain in the neck when you have a flashlight you've got to get to it and need it and have it work right so it's kind of led to a really long uh long search to find you know what's the best flashlight and i gotta say i found this best flashlight scenario you can you can even think of um, here they are right here hopefully you can still see them in the light they have just a limited amount but these are both hybrid lights uh, this one I've done a video on this is the hybrid 160 it is 160 lumens um, it has a lot of really cool features and benefits but this is not what I'm here to talk about not at all it's this baby the Mac daddy this is a 250 lumen solar powered flashlight you heard me right 250 lumen flashlight that actually works it has this glow-in-the-dark little band so if it were totally darked out you'd be able to see this nice little band uh, shiny so that you'll be able to find your flashlight if you dropped it in the middle of the night uh, but the solar panels here work phenomenally and they've made some changes here at the end which I really like it's a screw top instead of just a click um, so it makes it a lot more water tight um, actually water resistant um, it has a nice o-ring down here and it has two little USB ports one for quick charge because it does come with a cable um, uh, and a USB meaning when you're out in the woods you need to charge up your cell phone you've got a charger station right here so I mean there's a second feature right there with, with this thing that I just totally love screw it back on now it makes it water resistant no I mean waterproof this is 250 lumen. There's two settings on this thing, meaning that it takes five hours to get this thing fully charged. Um, but two settings. First setting here is going to give you basically uh, 16 hours of runtime. 16 hours of runtime right here. When you push it again, now it's your high setting. That gives you eight hours on full high beam right there. Pretty darn amazing. But that's not the really cool part. For me, it's all about survivability, right? So, check this out. Super, super bright, but let's say I'm in a water environment, fishing over the boat, Jeez, dropped it, second floats right back up to the surface. Sick or what? Okay, so, you got two settings, 16 hour runtime, eight hour runtime, in near water, drop it in, sucker still floats. Look at that. Now oh, that's cool. That's the last flashlight that you're gonna need is right here. This is the hybrid 250, hybrid 250. 